He said, can I get him yet? Can I get him yet? <laughs> Greetings, friends. This is Survival Doc. Today, I'm going to show you our chicken coop. This is the fence that we made. This is my chicken dog. Come here, Rio. Come here, Rio. All right, down, down. Sit, Rio. Anyway, this is our, our fence we made. It's a five foot chicken wire. We um, have it buried six inches in the ground, keep critters from digging underneath it. Above this, I have a bird netting that I got from Gardens Alive. And this is uh, because we have a problem with uh, hawks in this uh, part of the country. And I have uh, several friends who have uh, keep chickens and all of them have lost multiple chickens due to uh, hawks. Good dog, Rio. Good dog. Rio's a shepherd dog, and so he's um he's a shepherd most of the time, but also sometimes he gets excited and uh, wants to chase a chicken. Here are the chickens taking their dust bath. Okay, over here is my shed that I converted into a chicken coop. I cut a door in the side here, made a ramp so that when I opened it up, chickens can come out. And I put a sliding door here with, and that way I can open this at night uh, for ventilation when it's hot outside. And, uh, and speaking of ventilation, I also cut a hole up here. Uh, for hot air to escape, and uh, I'm gonna put a fan up there in that window if, if I need to. Here, are the chickens, uh, one of their favorite hangouts in this hot weather is underneath here where it's nice and cool. Now, over here in this corner is where I throw my compost or kitchen scraps, and chickens will eat any type of kitchen scraps, any type of food, so everything goes over here. Um, meat, fat, gristle, vegetable matter. I just come over here without coming inside here, just come over here and drop it over the fence. And here we have our compost for our chicken manure and in the sawdust, or not the sawdust, but the wood chips. <clears throat> Here's our coop. Our egg laying boxes and ramps for the chickens to go up. There's a chicken swing. And here's the roost boards. And here's their boardwalk and their rampway to get up there. Uh, there's a sand bath for them. And over here, I built this area for their water, and it has a drain to the outside. Uh, that way, when they make a mess with the water, it doesn't get the wood chips all wet. The water stays in this little area here. Oh, sorry. Guess you guys want in and out. But this is the sliding door I made to close it up at night. And I can lock it there if I need to. So in the morning, I just come out here and slide this open. And the chickens come outside.
And this uh, premium bird netting I got from Gardens Alive is um, I have got two pieces, 28 feet by 28 feet square, two pieces I joined right here. And I just joined them for now at least with uh, clothespins. And that way I can always easily open it right here if um, a lot of debris, leaves, or whatnot get up there I can open it easily to clean to clean that off. And this part right here I made I haven't cut a door into it yet, but I've got some um hardware cloth here. I'm gonna cut a door here in this part right here. So that I can uh, back my chicken tractor up to it, open it up, and allow the chickens to go directly out of the pen and into the chicken chicken tractor here. And uh, see my other video on my chicken tractor. And this is Survival Doc, reminding you: be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.